Hi folks and welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be doing Halloween biscuits. Now this video has been on the channel for around about three years. Numbers of you have been saying Steve I can't find the video. I'm going to redo it again for you in what I call a better language. <laughs> if you call my Gloucestershire accent better well whatever. Now you can find a recipe down below in the description and if you like this type of content please subscribe and please share. So let's get straight down to the recipe. Your Halloween biscuit recipe is now on screen. You want 282 grams of cake margarine or butter. It's better to use a cake margarine to be honest. 282 grams of caster sugar, 141 grams of egg, half a teaspoonful of baking powder. But if you don't wanna use baking powder, use self-raising flour, which is most likely better. And self-raising flour is 565 grams. Also, you want 141 grams of egg. Chocolate chips, 169 grams. It's now time to get your oven on. Your oven temperature wants to be around about 400 Fahrenheit or 200 Celsius, and that's fan assisted. Right, the first thing we need to do is put our butter and our sugar into a bowl. And what we need to do is mix this up so it's nice and light. And if you start on first speed, and then knock it onto second speed for around about five to 10 minutes. It depends on your temperature of your butter. It's always better to have your ingredients at room temperature, and that's around about 20 Celsius. If you've got a small Kenwood mixer with a creamer, use that beater attachment. It's better than the actual straightforward beater. And now we need to scrape down our machine bowl. Now, if you've got the Kenwood beater, you don't need to do any of this because it does it for you. And so I give a good scrape then and get it off the bottom because on these old fashioned machines, they do stick. Now, once again, you carry on mixing this so it's nice and light. And the next part of this, we're going to be starting to add in the egg. Because as you can see, that's nice and light now. So over about five minutes, add in bits of egg at a time. Or if you're just using single eggs, just add an egg at a time. But do make sure the eggs are at room temperature. That's 20 Celsius. If you do find your eggs starting to curdle, do chuck a bit of the flour in that you've got. That's the advantage of having the Kenwood mixer. You can, it's much better in these old fashioned machines I'm using in the bakery. Because with that creaming beater, you don't have to do any of this. It's just so straightforward. Now for, th for this recipe, I've actually used bread baking flour. The really, in America, you'd call it multi-purpose, but I'm using the like the cheaper bread flour you can get. Also, I'm using baking powder in this recipe. Now I prefer to use self-raising. Now what we need to do is mix our chocolate chip into our flour, give it a good mix in. It just makes it blend better. And also if you're using baking powder, you're getting it blended into the flour. Right, we'll start adding this into the machine. Do do this on first speed. Or if you haven't got a first speed like this particular machine I've got, I have to physically stop the machine to add flour. But I'm not going to bang on about the Kenwoods. The Kenwoods, you can keep mixing and still add your flour in. This is, as you can see, it's old school. get the rest of that flare in and all we're going to need to do now is just clear it so just the flour is just blended in to the fats and the sugars and now we're going to get this straight down onto the table after we give it a good scrape down in fact you're better off scraping it down on the table than actually on the machine now we've got our mix onto the table. All we need to take is a small piece first. And remember, this is gonna be quite soft. So just mix it up into a nice ball. Now you wanna be rolling this out to around about four millimeters thick. And for this, you want to be using your Halloween cutters. You can do whatever shapes. And you can see I'm actually making a lot of it. Once you've got it rolled out, stick a knife under the bottom of it and it just, it just clears that table then. If you notice in a lot of my videos, I actually use a knife to slide underneath the pastry. 
And that is how easy it is. Well, we just got to cut out and just cut out whatever shape you're cutting out. Oh, it looks like I'm doing a man. Or it could be a lady. See, if you use a scraper, you can carefully pick these up off the table. Well, we'll cut another piece off now. Now, what you want to do is all the bits from the other piece you've just used, add them into the fresh piece. And just mix that in. And now you'll notice that the, the actual dough is getting a bit more tighter now. And it's better to use then. Once again, we're going to be rolling this down to around about four millimeters thick. And don't forget, get your knife under it. Ah, lovely job. Well, I think we'll be cutting some Halloween biscuits out now. There we go, some bats. Now you can get these cutters from anywhere. These are the cheap ones. Uh, and I'm going to say now, they're pretty naff. But there again, they do the job. But with the naff ones, you buy them. If they're no good the following year, throw them in the dustbin and buy some more. They were cheapest chips. Better than this, you can buy some steel ones. Well, uh, uh, stainless steel ones which cost you an arm and leg, but they last forever and a day. These plastic cutters I got from America. And they're only domestic ones and nothing special, but then what do I want anything more than that? I think if I remember it was a dollar for a pack. Now for baking, you want your oven temperature at around about 400 Fahrenheit or if you want to, around about 200 Celsius in a fan assisted oven will be plenty. And we're going to be baking these for around about 15 minutes. And once they come out, you want to cool them down. And you usually cool them for around about, well, I, I always say give it half an hour. And you see I'm getting them out of the oven now. Oh yes, just right. They've just got that little bit of a tint on them, but not too much. They want to be on the whiter side of things really. And now for decorating. Now all I'm going to be doing is dipping these straight into straightforward chocolate. They can use whatever f things you want. You can use, in fact on the top, you can actually use fondant, chocolate, icing, you name it, anything on the top. It just makes a lovely biscuit if you use chocolate really. Now for the tops of these, I'm just using all different types of sweets. You can get these from all your sweet shops, supermarkets, wherever. But generally speaking, I try to keep to the Halloween type sweets at this time of year. So for the ghosts, I'm doing white fondant. Or you can do white chocolate. Very easy to do. And if you see the ones above are haunted houses. And then at the top there, I've actually got graveyard bits of stone. I'm sure I could have got a better orange than that but nevertheless and I'm actually just piping on fondant there and that look cool and I'm dipping the men now or women or whatever you want to call it ah they're turning into skeletons ah. and the bats Nothing like a bit of chocolate. It makes life so simple. Right, and then I'm just putting a, a pumpkin head on. Well, actually, I shaped it to make it look like something different. That, that's cool. And then with a skeleton, all you do is pipe on your skeleton bits. Yeah, these were the days when I used to do lots and lots of different cakes. These days, it, it's not quite the same anymore. Well, there you go, folks. If you like this type of content, please subscribe and please share. And we'll see you again very shortly on the Crazy Baker channel. Laters!